So good evening, a very late upload today. And um, yes, I have been doing mad dramas today. You will see it in the vlog, more Lee Gunner. Make sure you go and check that channel out, pushing towards 7,000 subscribers on that channel. Thank you very much to everybody who is subscribed to it, everybody who comments and likes. I'm gonna be doing some live streams on there soon as well. And it's not just gonna be vlogs. Like I said, it is going to be live streams. And I'm going to be doing quite a lot of reaction videos on that going forward as well into the future. So keep your eyes peeled and make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you also subscribe to this channel, the Banter Club channel, uh, the one that does make me uh, have an income because <laughs> this is the channel that I get paid from. And uh, that is to the displeasure of a lot of people. Big up to all the people that don't care about that and love to see people shining. Keep shining every single one of you. Anyway, now we've got all of that out of the way. We do have a game tomorrow. And um, I've just sat and watched Man City absolutely pummel Wickham Wanderers, although Wickham Wanderers did actually put up more of a fight at the Etihad than Arsenal did a couple of weeks ago. They actually scored. <laughs> uh, we didn't. Uh, but we do have AFC Wimbledon tomorrow. Um, I will be live with Matisse at 1 p.m. UK time tomorrow on his channel. And then it's a full match day program on here as normal. It'll be the build up, it'll be the watch along in the same show, it'll be the video call in all in the same stream. Then it'll be fan cams, and then it'll be player ratings. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my evening tonight of chill and rest because tomorrow, from quarter to nine, my time, uh, in fact, quarter to eight, my time, I'm going to be working all the way through till about 3 a.m. So, yes, I'm going to make the most of it tonight. Um, but we do have a game. Um, obviously, all the propaganda at the moment around Arsenal is to do with Charlie Patino, the, uh, the next Messi. Yes. A couple of two Bob journalists have hyped him up so badly that our fans now on social media seem to think that this guy's the second coming of Messi. And listen, hands up, I hope he is the second coming of Messi because if he is, we're going to make a lot of money when we sell him to probably Chelsea. Uh, but I hope he does have a good game if he does play. He does look a special talent, but at the same time, I have been there, done it, seen it, won the T-shirt, and I'm not going to get hyped up about some of these youth pro um, projects. See, I'm falling into the PR uh, youth teamers because I've seen it all before. And I'll say it again. Listen, people want to say I'm negative and this and that. Cool. Do what you're doing. Don't care. It's not negative to want to be the best, um, although in today's society it probably is. But in the last 20 years of our academy, how many players have come through it and actually had a sustained, decent, top-level career at Arsenal Football Club? Ashley Cole, probably the best left-back England's ever seen. Um, up there with Kenny Sampson, for sure, anyway, um, who then left and went to Chelsea. We've then had, um, off of the back of that, maybe Jack Wilshere. Had a decent career at Arsenal, won a few cups, etc., etc. Um, and people are laugh at this one. But, again, you could throw it in there. Alex Awobi, maybe. Maybe. But, again... We're kind of struggling. And this is why I don't get carried away with it. It's not nothing to do with being negative and this and that. Last summer, um, or the summer just gone, should I say, the summer we've just come out of, people were hyping up Miguel Aziz, you know, making out he was the next coming of Ronaldo. Oh, he's been on that Ronaldo regime. Look at his legs. And now he's gone on loan. You know, under this manager, we're going to be few and far between of youth projects coming through and youth players coming through. Smith, Rowe and Saka were always going to make it. They're top, top players. But at the moment, they they need a rest. And I really hope they get that rest tomorrow because they look burnt out, the pair of them. And I do think that we are going to change the team around tomorrow. I think we'll probably see Kalazanak in there. We're all going to have a meltdown over that one. Uh, we'll probably see Leno back in goal. We'll see Callum Chambers. We'll see Rob Holding. And um, we'll probably see uh, maybe Mohamed Elneny. I'm not sure whether he's 100% fit. Maybe Samba Le Conga will be in there. Uh, another one that was destined for greatness that has absolutely been destroyed by this manager in Gabriel Martinelli. Hopefully he starts tomorrow. Regardless of whether he starts and scores, he will be dropped for the weekend because that is what this manager does, unfortunately. But listen, I do think um, this is an absolute formality. They lost to Plymouth at the weekend at home, 1-0. Um, so, yeah, I do think this is a formality. If we can't beat the seventh-place team in League 1, 
then we've got bigger issues than I actually think we've got. And I think we've got a lot of issues at this football club, sadly. But it is what it is. That's why I'm just enjoying um, doing one stream a day rather than three streams a day. And in, 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 in this case, um, you can tell I've had a couple of beers, kind of. Uh, in this case, the, um, it's an upload rather than a stream because I was watching the football. I went live with Terry. Go and check that stream out on the Football Terrace. Really good stream. But... Listen, this should be a formality. We're Arsenal Football Club, regardless of how poor we're being run, how poor it filters down, how much PR they want to peddle around the manager, a process, a project, whatever they want to call it. I've seen Mertesacker come out and say it's going to take maybe three years to qualify for Champions League. You know, Arsene Wenger's come out today. Um, Sky Sports did a thing on him um, where he said that, yeah, well, we came second to Leicester I lost a, a semi-final to Atletico. I won the FA Cup though, and then I lost a, um, a you know, I lost um, a League Cup final. Mate, that ain't success, by the way. We need to drag this club up. Come on, man! Everybody in there watching this right now in this chat, drag the club up. We need to raise the standards, man, because the standards are on the floor. People still harping on about a trophy from 17 years ago. Like, come on, yeah. I want to win this trophy. I've seen us win two of these. I'm very old, as you can tell. Um, but I've seen this win two League Cups, 87 and 93. 93 was part of a cup double. I remember these. I don't remember the 87, but I do remember the 93. You know, and I want to win this trophy. Pep Guardiola tonight went with Mares, Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling. You know, he had a good team out there today, you know. And it's like, oh, come on, Phil Foden was on the pitch. Why can't we go out there and win this tournament? Let's just go with it. Like, I do think he's going to rotate the team. Obviously, we've got a North London derby. And I don't ever want to lose a North London derby. But at the same time, the next game is the most important game. This one is a quicker way to a trophy than the league. Because we ain't winning the league. So I'm not saying down tools on the league. But what I'm saying is, this is a cup competition, a knockout competition. This manager has kept his job off of the back of winning one. So why not try and win it? Hopefully we can. Hopefully we get past Wimbledon tomorrow. And hopefully we see some good performances as well because we've got a lot of players within this squad that have not been great um, for a very, very, very long time. I do think Lacazette, and I think he's been one of the better ones over the last 12 months, but I do think he's going to start this game. I don't think Aubameyang will start. I think he's his go-to man at the moment for the league games. Um, Granit Xhaka is obviously suspended. Yes, we have half a chance. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what he does tomorrow with Odegaard, with Smith Rowe, with Saka. Because listen, at the end of the day, like I said a few minutes ago, Bukayo Saka, star boy, and all of that, he doesn't score enough goals. Is he going to put him in this game in the hope that that boosts his confidence to kick him on for a North London derby? I'm not so sure he's going to play him, if I'm honest. I genuinely don't think he will. So we shall see. But Saka and Smith Rowe look knackered like i've said and i wouldn't play him i genuinely wouldn't if i was going to give you a team um i'm going to give you the team i'm going to do what these journalists do and what all of the top gooners do i'm not going to give you my team i want you to give me your team but i'll give you the team that i think because this is what people do that i think the manager will play uh so we're going to go leno in goal uh we're going to go with cedric suarez at right back we're going with rob holding and Pablo Marie, I was tempted to put Callum Chambers in at right back, but I think he's going to go with um, with Cedric. Uh, left back, I think he'll go with Nuno Tavares. And before you get on to me, that is how you pronounce it. Ask Kenny Ken. Uh, midfield, I think he'll go with El Elneny if he's fit. And Sambi Lukonga, if El Elneny's not fit, I think it'll be Maitland-Niles and Sambi Lukonga. In front of them, I think, I keep saying I think, uh, I think he will go with... Martin Odegaard. I genuinely think he'll put him in there. Uh, left wing, he will, will go with Martinelli. Right wing, I reckon he'll go with... I reckon he'll go with Pepe. Not Saka. And then up front, I think he'll go Lacazette. Um, so, yeah, that's what I think the manager will do. Because it's fashionable to tell you what you think the manager will do, not what you actually think. So now we're just going to join the bandwagon. Why not? It's wheeling on. 48,000 tickets sold as well, by the way. Big up to all the people going to the game. Hopefully you enjoy it. Some of you, it'll be your first ever game at the Emirates. So good luck 
Uh, hopefully we see a nice good performance. I do think we're going to slap them. It should be a formality. We could put the under 12s out. No disrespect to AFC Wimbledon. It's tragic what's happened to that club over the years um, from being actual Wimbledon. Um, so yeah, anyone who knows the history on that, it's a scandal. But it is what it is. I do think we're slapping them. I'm going 5 0. Um, before you start saying, oh, but Lee, every time you predict 5 0, we lose. We ain't losing this game. If we lose this game, um, I'll donate £200 um, to one of you lucky subscribers. How's that? Anyway, leave your score predictions down below. Uh, let me know your starting 11, not the 11 you think Arteta will make, um, but your starting 11. And uh, give me your score predictions down below. Mad love on this channel. Thank you very much for all the mad continued support as well. It's been lit. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow, like I said, with a full program, uh, full match day lineup and stuff like that. I'm also on with Matisse, M-A-H. Type it in on YouTube. Go and subscribe to Matisse. I'm on with him, Toby. And Corey can make it tomorrow as well. So, yeah, we're going to laugh at him about uh, Mark Nobles. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Have a wonderful evening. And uh, I'll tether out. Later.